Hey guys, welcome to Safi Mixed. In this video, I will let you know how to link your mobile with laptop or desktop on which Windows 10 or Windows 11 is installed, which means you will be able to control your mobile completely from your laptop or desktop. The process is quite easy. You just need to activate Windows Link on your PC and download Windows Link app to your mobile the windows link in windows 10 and 11 comes by default but you just need to check whether that is activated or not so to check it you need to press ctrl i key on your keyboard simultaneously to go to windows setting and uh, on windows setting here on the phone click on this app and you see here we have phone link but uh, it is off and you need to toggle this on now when the phone link is toggle on it will activate the windows of phone link okay once you switch on the phone link in your windows setting it would then be added to this app uh, panel and it is always here then so far as you don't toggle off from the setting so being here you can easily switch this on by clicking over it and it will be on your whole screen now you see here you have two option android and iphone but iphone can be connected only when with windows 11 and android can be connected both with windows 10 and windows 11 since i have windows 10 on my laptop therefore i cannot connect iphone so it is deactivated and uh, I need to connect Android. So when I click on this, since I have previously connected my mobile with this window, which I have disconnected for the sake to make you understand, it is already present there. And uh, I have to select this one. But keep in mind, before coming here, we first need to install the app on our um, mobile. So for that, you need to go to your mobile and uh, first install the app on your mobile so let me go through the process if the the app is not installed on your device what you would need to do enter into a browser like this one and uh, enter the address www.aka.ms dot your phone it is already already there so i click on this uh, address and you will come to this site i'm clicking continue since i'm not clicking clicking on continue because i have already installed the app on my device but when you click on continue the app will be installed and installing the app you will be asked to enter microsoft account with which your window which you are using on your pc uh, for example here on pc i'm using my this one hotmail address so you will add the hotmail address on your app as well once that is done since i'm not going to that process because the app is installed on my mobile app you will come down to your mobile and uh, swipe down to activate your quick access app panel and uh, when i come here the link to window would be already installed but it might be off so you just need to click on link to window here to uh, to activate it and once this is activated you then need to click on your bluetooth so you would switch on your bluetooth as well and uh, i'm switching this on the bluetooth is now on and it is searching for Bluetooth devices, then you need to come to your um, search tab on your Windows or laptop and click on Bluetooth and search for Bluetooth and other devices. So if I click on Bluetooth and other devices, it takes me over here and my Bluetooth is already on, on position so i can uh, use it now and uh, you see on my mobile here this is the name of my computer salman safi so it is already added over here and uh, if i click on this 
paired devices, I would like to pair this device to my mobile link. On Windows, I select Salman A54. So I select this device and uh, connect it for calls. And now the app is connected for fire. If I allow done, it will be connected. If you are connecting it for the first time, then definitely you would be asked to enter a number which would be displayed here on your app on the windows and then you need to click pair to open your device so now my device is connected so it needs password it's asking password for my uh, microsoft hotmail account so i just want to enter my password and if i get sign in just a moment give us a moment to prepare your device so it is taking a little longer you are all set so uh, the, the message is given therefore I, I click continue and you see now my mobile gets started welcome to phone link with phone link everything you know so I just click on get started and I skip all these things now you have uh, so few things to do uh, the there are four different tabs the message tab the photo tabs if I click on the photo tabs the window will show all my photos you can even uh, enlarge this window to the whole um, screen and uh, there you uh, can refresh this would uh, give you do not disturb you can switch out the sound it is now sounding and this gives audios and if I get so there are all the photos on my which are shown here on the screen I can have all the pictures from there these are the picture on my mobile which now I can use on my laptop screen similarly I can open any app that is installed on my mobile if I click on the app tab so uh, if I drag down, these are the different apps installed on my mobile. So they are now visible to me and accessible to me um, from the phone. If I click on, let's say I want to open the World Web. So it is being loaded. Now the World Web is opened over here. I can even enlarge the screen and I can move this from uh, from and I can change its position or anywhere I want to like and I can use this for example I have already added our psychic if I click this on it shows me the meaning of psychic I can close the app from here similarly I can open any app uh, from my mobile screen and um, I can call by clicking on the call tab so the dialing pair would appear make receive card so it asked me to get started so i click on get started now you see all my these are the calls which these are the list of recent calls and i can search for any uh, uh i can search for any contact like this one let me click this one so i can now if i click the call button i can call from my windows directly to phone Similarly, I can read messages and can send messages if I click on message tab. Here are different uh, messages that I have in my in, in, in my app. In these, you can click on any of these messages. I, if I want to send a message, I can send messages from here by typing messages in window. I, how are you? If I click this it will go but i don't want to dis disturb the context so i don't click enter here and similarly you can come to the setting button and uh, can change the setting at this position your link uh, you can check whether it is updated or not so check for updates your app is updated last check 339 so i have checked this today i don't need to check it off and this way you can uh, control your mobile from your Windows app. So have a good time and thanks for watching.